Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ambassador Mark Ginsburg. I'm very honored to join you today, even though from a very long distance away here in Washington, D.C. During this time, we have never lost sight of the importance of reaching across the oceans to unite with our friends around the world in the goal of changing the regime in Iran and ridding the people of Iran of the awful military dictatorship of the mullahs. Let us not forget that over the years, the National Council of Resistance of Iran, led by Madame Rajavi, has been a beacon of hope and aspiration for the Iranian people. Those of us in the United States who have come to know her respect not only her leadership, but the important agenda of democracy, hope, and freedom that the NCRI has promised the Iranian people. That regime, the military dictatorship that clings still to power, must no longer exist. It is important that all of us understand that during this pandemic, the regime has inflicted even more hardship on the Iranian people. Economic losses, the disease running rampant, the inability of any government authority inside the regime to offer hope and aspiration for a beleaguered people. It's time that the regime came to an end. It is insufficient that the international community sees the situation in Iran as just one more part of a very dangerous world. Iran is a danger to the world. The NCRI is offered hope in the guise of an agenda of freedom, liberty, and, and aspirational hope for economic change in Iran that would finally end uh, what essentially is the long nightmare that the regime has placed on the world ever since it came to power in 1979. They are a super spreader of hate and violence and disease within their own country. I hope that as this event continues, that we who support the aspirations of Madame Rajavi and the NCRI will find even more strength and fortitude to be able to lend more support to the Iranian people and their aspirations. Let us hope that when this pandemic is over and the people in, around the world are able to recover, that the Iranian people will look back and say that while this was an awful period, what happened is that the pandemic provided a catalyst for change inside Iran, a change that is long, long overdue. To those of my friends in the resistance community who join us today, thank you for letting me be part of this important gathering, and I wish you all the very best, much health to all of you and your families. Thank you.